The process began in the following way. I turned on the macro recorder, and as I did, I, I clicked on cell B1, and then I highlighted this data. Remember, all this is being recorded. I right-clicked, did a copy, and here's the command you may or may not know about. I right-clicked on D1 here, did a paste special, and transpose. Clicked OK. Remember, the macro recorder is still on. We're not worrying about the column width just now. We'll get about that later. I then went down to the next group of cells here, right-clicked there, did a copy. And I didn't paste right under the other data. I did this right here. And the reason I copied it here and transposed it is that I wanted the macro code to always be copying and pasting two cells to the right rather than moving up six rows or up five rows, changing each time. Remember, the macro recorder would still be on. I recorded this here. Right click, copy, right click, paste special, transpose, OK. At that point, I turned off the macro recorder. Now, I can't quite show you exactly what I saw, but at that point, when I went back and looked at the macro that I had recorded, essentially what I saw is, first of all, uh, I clicked on cell B1. I selected six cells. I didn't have this line in here at all. I saw the copy, and this means move over two cells. Remember, all this is recorded. I didn't type any of this here. I, I transposed the data, and then I moved down six rows. Now, I saw this code here over and over three more times, two more times. I erased it, and I typed in this line. Now, I'm not suggesting that if you use macros that you will be, that you need to know how to do this, but those who start to need more sophisticated macros at some point are likely encount to encounter the need to say, in effect, perform an action over and over and over again until you reach an empty cell. This is called a do loop. There's another series of actions similar to this called a for loop. And it, uh, it allows you to, for example, if you had only 50 sets of, of data, one for each state, you could say, in fact, perform something 50 times. This says is somewhat open-ended in the sense that it will handle as many records as necessary until we find an empty cell. And the remainder of this was all recorded. This simply selects the columns where the data was, was uh, pasted, and this sorts the data to bring it all together. Uh, a couple of adjustments for column widths, and again, all this is recorded, and then I shifted the entire data down and added a title. So I'm emphasizing the idea here that for many users, and even for sophisticated uses a lot of times, much of what you do in, in creating macros is record actions. And you can record macros in pieces, too, and then jump back in here. Now, again, I did have to type this code here. I had to type that code. And it's not as if you, you, you have, again, some perfect list that says this is what I need to type. <laughs>